Welcome everyone, here we are again, uh, another rehearsal, another week. Uh, we are going to start with our warm-up as usual. So what I would like you to do is to make sure that you're standing tall, comfortable, heels firmly on the floor, in line beneath your, um, beneath your hips and your shoulders, a nice tall posture. Let's start by rolling back the shoulders a bit and forward. And just gently stretching the neck to one side and the other. And looking over one shoulder, slowly rolling round and looking over the other, just feeling everything loosening up a bit. Okay, so we're going to start with um, just an exercise with our breathing. What I would like you to do is to hold a finger in front of your mouth as if, you blow, as if it's a candle and, you, and you're blowing it out, but I don't want, it's not a birthday candle and you don't have to, and there's not, you, know, you don't have to kind of extinguish the blaze as quick as you can, it's just a gentle blow, okay. So, <clears throat> as you're blowing, I want you to feel the smoothness and the evenness of your breath. That's the idea here, so we can kind of really think about controlling how we exhale and, and sensing it by, by having our finger in front of our mouth. So let's try that now. Okay, so breathe in and out slowly. Okay, so just do that a few times um, just to get an idea of uh, modulating how you uh, exhale and thinking about maintaining a, a steady stream of um, airflow rather than too much coming out at once. You probably feel at first actually it's it's a bit a bit um, a bit quicker or a bit heavier at first. So concentrate on just keeping it nice and steady the whole way through. Maybe give yourself a count of six or something to try and uh, manage that. Okay, so that's the first thing I'd like you to do. Another thing you can do while you while you are involved in that exercise is perhaps put your hand on your tummy or on your back or on your sides just to feel what's happening as you exhale. So as you inhale, you expand and as you exhale, you slowly um, sort of drawing, you know, drawing up with your uh, diaphragm. So you should be able to feel that movement in your body as well. And that'll be really helpful. Okay, so that's that. Right, now I want you to just choose any note and I want you to sing the word ring, okay? And I want you to hold the ng sound as uh, as long as you can. Um, so let's try that now. So any any note you like, anything that feels comfortable, just go for it. So ring. Okay. So as you do that, you should feel the vibrations there, sort of. Um, at the back of your nose, um, and that's that's the point uh, to 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 get that um, nasal resonance. So let's try it again, and really kind of concentrate on on what's happening here inside. Off you go, ring. As you're doing it, sort of just adjust what's happening as well. So kind of tilt your head slightly. Um, that might make it feel as though there's more of a, um, a buzz inside, inside your nose, uh, drop the jaw slightly, all of those things. So again, experiment with what's happening with your body as you produce that sound. Okay, let's do, take that a step further now. So once you've done that a few times, um, now what I would like you to do is just take the mm sound and uh, you're gonna just glide up and down, just gently, okay? Um, you know, not not too high. We're not we're not doing sirens. Just up and down. You know, about maybe five tones or something like that. Okay, let's try that. And ring. Something like that. So do that a few times again. Just feel what's happening inside inside your um, inside your face, inside your head as you as you're doing that those exercises. Um, just gently up and down, and then you can take it, a, you know, a step higher. So, for example, you know, move up. So, ring. And then again, ring. 
and so on. Okay, so you know, do that, do that as as um, is comfortable for you, uh, and but allow yourself just to kind of really be in, in 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 tune with what's happening as you as you produce those sounds. Okay, you should feel that as a bit of a tingle inside your nose, and that that should be good. Okay. Right, we're going to move on to some vocal warm ups now. So um, I'll, I'll I'll demonstrate what I want you to do. The, there will be some. Um, words and sounds on the screen for you to follow uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to move um, in and out of some vo vowel sounds moving up and then down again so let me demonstrate okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just move gently up and down over a, a number of different vowel sounds and that's going to um, you know, be, be aware of the tone you're making with your voice, okay? It's a nice round tone. So moving on from what we were doing with those um, resonance exercises. So we're going to start with ooey, 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 okay? So we're going to sing ooey, 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 stepping up, ooey, 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 and again, ooey, 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 now we come back down, And then we stay at the bottom. So that's the pattern. I'll sing it through for you slowly and then with the um, accompaniment. So it goes like this. vowel pattern and then we're going to move on to an ah air which is not as easy okay so it's just keep the mouth not big and um, just let everything happen very naturally so the first same 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 um, musical pattern Do that we'll do um ooey and then moving on to i air okay straight away okay ready for your ooeys and ooey, ooey. few times um, and it's just it's about really thinking about what's happening with your uh, mouth with your with your voice and just if it's too fast just do it on your own take it slow but really listen and again it might be an idea to do this in front of a mirror so that you can really see what's happening um, especially with the R you have to really drop that jaw because it's really difficult to do I, I, like that it's just it's, it's too busy so my mouth's hardly moving everything's happening inside okay so let's just finish off with a bit of a tongue twister just to kind of get everything going here and around the around the lips around the mouth so I want you to say this little rhyme Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl I had to look that up. It's a salamander. Okay, so there you go. If you didn't know what an axolotl is, it's a, it's a kind of sort of creepy, watery, lizardy thing. Okay. Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl. Right, so let's try it with a bit of a beat. 
Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl. Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl. Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl. Aristotle lost his bottle when he spied an axolotl. Okay, so you can again, you can just do that as much as you want, just to kind of get everything moving and warmed up. So you should be ready now to move on to our side singing exercises. Well done.